this is honestly boring and I don't want to be in the circle. Did I just when, when say I told boring? you that he, he yeah. says this to me, it seemed like it has happened. Like, oh, tell your neighbors to tell your neighbors like, what so he's saying. Like, I'm chill. Like, it I'm has good, happened. Like I'm good. I don't care what he says. Wow, what a drama. Should I say it's the alcohol? Like, could it be the alcohol? Because I was really thinking Kosi was a chill kind of girl, you know, the girl with the soft heart, like everyone likes to call her, especially her fans. What could have possibly gone wrong? It has to be the alcohol. I'm going to blame this misbehavior on the alcohol. Guys, in today's video, I'm actually going to be unleashing all the drama, spilling all the tea that happened at the housemates' pool party. I was actually expecting it because, I mean, I was just thinking, Yemi has promised um, Kosi heaven and earth and how he would be um, committed to her, blah, 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 woo, woo, woo. Doesn't mean he's going to ditch Blue Eva. Hell to the bloody no. And my guess was correct. He couldn't ditch Blue Eva right in the same party he was flirting with her. So let's get straight into the video. But before we do that, please subscribe to my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please leave a comment if you want to. And also turn on your post notification to be notified when I drop a new video. Without further ado, let us start dissecting one by one. Guys, the party was a lot better than last week. I mean, I have to confess, you know, it was a little bit pulling me away. Juicy and um, Juicy J and Yvonne were there doing their thing. And you know, there was um, Kosi and and Yemi being a couple and I'm like okay okay the party is actually you know going to be peaceful right and then the next thing I saw was Blue Ava and um Yemi all together like um what's her name Blue Ava had her hands round Yemi and she held him so tight and they were as I think they wanted to kiss or something because they were so close to each other talking to each other and Yemi also had his hands around her so it's not like oh she was the only one that held him no he they held each other now, like one or two minutes later, right, very almost immediately when um, Yemi walked up to Blue Eva, Kosi also walked up to the both of them and she was like, oh, she wants to talk to Yemi. Then Yemi was like, oh, he's coming. And she kept on saying, oh, I want to talk to you now. And then Blue Eva was like, he's coming. That was the exact statement. He is coming. That cost tonight's drama. That is how um, Yemi Craigs and Kosi went to the bathroom and they started having issues. Oh, why was she holding you like that? You're trying to embarrass me. Look at everyone. I mean, everyone thinks I'm a fool that I came back to you and now you're, you're, you're holding Blue Eva. You all are flirting around in my presence while I'm there. Like, what sort of disrespect is it? This is an embarrassment. Like, I told you to come. You should have left her immediately and followed me. And he was like, yeah, that's what he was doing. That Blue Eva was holding him. Why is she like this? He even tried to hold her and she just flung his hands. Like, leave me alone. What are you doing? That's how this girl felt like, oh, this conversation wasn't getting anywhere. And Kosi literally confronted Blue Eva in the dressing room. Like, I mean, I actually had this girl in high estate. I'm not even trying to judge her or anything like that because I know what it feels like to be in love with a guy and then he's playing you right in your face and the girl is still in the All of you are still in the same house. Like, it can be so frustrating. So I can understand that she was really frustrated plus the alcohol. It was really getting to her. So yeah, she approached him, approached um, Blue Eva rather, in the dressing room and she questioned her like, what do you mean by his coming? I mean, if it were to be a random girl that walked up to the both of you, wouldn't you be like, oh, okay, or you just keep quiet and let them have a discussion whether Yemi Kress is going to go to her or tell her, okay, I'll come to you. Let him do the talking. Why do you have to um, answer for him? Like, do you have a beef with me and stuff? And she was explaining that he actually got to her first and she followed right up. Like, she was as if she wanted to go get her man and stuff. And what's her name? Kosi was like, what's wrong in me getting my what's wrong is someone getting their man? And she was like, oh, nothing is wrong, but at least the man is after me. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with what? Someone fetching their man. Nothing. Okay. Because their so man then, is after me, so I don't know. It seemed as if um that statement hits Kosi. Kosi was like, okay, he's after you. Should we get Yemi here? Like, should Yemi come here? Like, since he's after you, let's know who is after who. That was where Blue Eva was like, hell to the bloody no. I'm not around I'm not about to be in your circle. We'll get we'll be arguing. I mean, what was she thinking? Yemi will come, she will invite Yemi, Kosi will invite Yemi, right? And they will start discussing, okay, did you ask her out? Did you not ask her out? Are you the one flirting with? What's, 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 what's that going to be like? 
Blue Eva said, hell to the bloody no that she doesn't want to be in that circle. Hell to the bloody no. No way. She kept on insisting like, do will you mind? Does it matter? Does it matter? She was just trying to speak all kinds of grammar to like, you know, change the whole thing. And Blue Eva was still saying the same thing, bro. I do not want to be in that circle. Miss me. Like, miss me out of that BS. Just leave me out of it. I do not want to be in that circle. All of you things. Like, she doesn't care whatever relationship Cozy has with, um... Get me? She was literally having a conversation with him, and that was the reason why she told him he was coming. I mean, she should have gotten the message immediately. She even did like this. She should have gotten it immediately. Hey, I'm on this Blue Ava. Is the real action? No. She even went for that to tell Blue Ava that if there's a problem causing a problem, that problem has to be addressed. That statement. What I could testify from that statement is Blue Ava is a problem that had to be addressed. But now, my now my question is why is she the one doing the addressing? I mean, Blue Ava is not the one flirting with you. She's flirting with, um, Yemi. Is Yemi she's flirting with, right? So why is Yemi not cautioning her, like, hold, hold up. I got my girl, like, right? Kosi is my girl and we have a thing going on. Please, I need you to, like, not overstep the boundaries. That is how it should be. Why are you the one addressing Blue Ava? Gosh. Anyways, guys, Blue Ava walked out on her straight up, like, girl, I'm done with this conversation. Thank you. And I'm like, hold up. Cosi couldn't believe her eyes. She was just laughing. I don't know if she was faking the laughter or whatever, but she was just like, <laughs> oh, we're not done, we're not done. Anyways, she followed Blue Eva. At this point, it's giving me desperation. You're, like, you're desperate, like, you're giving me desperado vibe, babes. Like, this girl literally walked out on you and you're following her. What are you, what point are you trying to make? This girl doesn't mean, she was like, I don't care. Whatever relationship you have with him, I don't care. Cosi was indirectly giving Blue Eva a warning that oh, that although um um if she hadn't walked up to her, they wouldn't be cool afterwards. And Blue Eva was like, even if you hadn't walked up to me to caution me or whatever it is, I would still be cool with you. I mean, I've been cool with you. And um, Cosi was of the opinion that no, you would never be cool with me after the drama that happened in there. Of course, you never be cool with me. That's a lie. And that okay, even if you're gonna be cool with me, let this not happen again. And Blue Eva was like, she would always be the same. Like, nothing is going to change. I'm like, why are you the one putting in the work? This Yemi is just out there chilling. Well, I mean, why do we having that argument? Um, Yemi was, was with Ipeleng on the couch. They were talking. And you're here stressing yourself, stressing your veins, acting like you're a mad person, shouting like a shrew. Are you, are you okay? Anyways, um, Blue Eva walked out on her, back to the gist. And what's her name? Kosi followed Blue Eva wow now they got to where Meli and sandra were sitting down and that's where she started doing another explanation altogether. that oh let them call yemi so that you can have a conversation and blue eva was still saying the same thing i do not want to be in that circle do not include me and um kosi was like you're already there i mean you're the reason why this whole thing happened and blue eva was like no i'm not the reason i mean if you had not walked in on us to try and disrupt what we're having there would never be an issue. You included yourself. And um, Kosi was like, oh, did I fall from the sky? Where did I come from? And Blue Eva was like, I don't know where you came from. I don't know. Wow. She really got embarrassed. I'm not even going to lie. This is the height of it. This is the height of embarrassment. I feel so sad for Kosi. But on the other hand, I really do not feel sad for her because she is the one in a three years relationship chasing a man in the house. This whole thing is just trying to be complicated, but it's not me they are going to um, confuse. You are in a relationship, like, you should even feel some type of way that, oh, my man is actually watching me. Isn't he going to feel some type of way as well? You're embarrassed. I mean, you should, like, think twice or even more than twice before you even make a move. Knowing fully well that you're already messing yourself up, hanging out and flirting around and being with, um, Yemi Craigs. Knowing fully well you have a full-fledged relationship. Three years is not a joke. Anyways, Sandra was just there laughing and, you know, smiling and all of that. Emily was just there enjoying the vibe and all that. And I was just looking at, um, what's her name? Kosi. Kosi, you are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassed. Like, this is the height of it. Now, Kosi kept on going. And she was like, oh, 
if I had not approached um, Blue after this whole incident, there is no way we are going to be cool. And that Blue keeps on insisting that, oh, she's going to be cool, like water, chilled, like water and all that. And Kosi was like, that is a lie because you know what you did by telling me he is coming with the whole drama. He is coming. You know what you were doing. Don't act like you don't. So there is no way how after this whole incident, you and I are going to sit down together and be cool with each other. It's not possible. And Blue was like, it's not, it's not a lie. It's actually true. I'm still gonna be cool with you because I don't have a problem with you and that's how she went on to you know uh, Explain her own side of the story to email. I'm talking about blue Ava She kept she, she decided to explain whatever all the things that happened now before she did that Miracle walked in and there was this awkward silence in my mind. I was like Kosi, why are you quiet? Are you ashamed of yourself that you're actually being dramatic over a guy that you 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 should you should have ditched for this guy like Aren't you ashamed of yourself? She just there was this awkward silence. Then that was when Blue Ava proceeded to explain to Imeli that okay, this is what happened. Imagine if it was a girl, this and that, and she I mean, as she was talking, Kosi wanted to leave. And Kosi actually proceeded to the door to leave. And she was like, bye bye. And guess what Blue Eva said? Shushu, shushu. And I'm like, what is going on here? It is the way Blue Eva addressed the matter. Like, girl, I don't care about you. I'm going to do whatever I want to do, however I want to do, whichever way I want to do it. And guess what you're going to do about it? Nothing. Whoa. So when Kosi left eventually, Blue Eva was like, yes, that's my name. She was just feeling herself. That's my name. I don't run after men. They come for me. Look at me. I'm like, girl, Sandra was just there hyping and enjoying the whole conversation. Sure, 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 sure. You guys, of course, now, you, you know the mm -hmm. name. You know Look the name. Her. I don't go after Fidio. men, honey. Men hey, come to me. action. <laughs> she took it too far. Now, she proceeded to have a conversation with Yemi, and Yemi was just there looking uninterested. He was even blaming her that, why did you meet Blue Eva? That was so unnecessary that, oh, he's not chasing after anybody. He has nothing for her. That he even called her a B-I-T-C. She called her the B-word. He called Blue Eva the B-word. But you were kissing her like two days ago. You held her so tight, even at the pool party. But she's a B, right? That's meant for you. Like... I could see that this guy is a flirt and I could see as well that Blue Ava is just playing the game. Kosi is the only one. I was even thinking initially that Blue Ava was invested in the whole thing. But it seems right now that Kosi is actually the one head over heels in love with this guy. So in love with this guy and doesn't even want to share at all. Not even anyone dancing with him or looking at him some type of way. It is so embarrassing that after giving him all your terms and conditions... This guy is right here flirting in your presence. It must be so embarrassing. She kept on saying that, oh, this whole drama is messing her game up with Miracle OP. And Yemi wanted to lose it with her. Like, oh, why is she even mentioning Miracle OP? And meanwhile, Miracle was even looking at all of them. I was like, why is he looking at us? Why are you even mentioning his name? Like, he's just your partner. He is your partner. You're not dating him. Oh, God. I don't care. And I don't. It was messed up. And in my head, I'm like, Yemi, you don't even have the right to raise your voice. This is what I call gaslighting. Like, you offended this girl. And here you are. She's trying to ex um, explain herself, pour her heart out to you. And you're telling her, oh, she shouldn't mention names. Of course she's going to mention names. Because according to her, Miracle likes her. So she has to be, you know... She has to be, she has to tread with caution when she's dealing with someone who has feelings for her while she's playing a game. I mean, that's the essence why she's even calling Miracle's name in the first place. But here you are yelling that, oh, don't call his name, don't call his name. But you can flirt with other people, but she shouldn't, you know, call any other person's name or even flirt with the person. Yemi must be a delusional person. Now, during their conversation, the height of it for me was when Yemi had a smirk on his face. A smirk is basically when you're talking and you're like, that kind of thing. Like, it's funny or it catches your fancy. This girl is mad at you. She is angry. And you have a smirk on your face. And guess what Kosi said? If you don't fix your face, I'm going to slap you. I'm going to put a slap across your face. And I'm like, has he gotten to this? In my head, I'm like, okay, are we going to have another beauty in the house? Or do we have another beauty in the house? Because where is violence now coming from? Which one is you're going to slap him? Like... Where is this coming from, you know? And Yemi was like, of course, you know, I always have a facial expression when issues like this arise. So it's not like it's a big deal. This guy even tried to switch the whole thing towards Blue, saying that, oh, Blue is one trying to trigger Kosi. 
Excuse me, young man. You held this girl so tight, the same way she held you so tight. I mean, you literally reciprocated the energy. So how is Blue the one trying to trigger Kosi? I feel so sad for her because, I mean, no woman deserves to go through all of this. But seeing this from another angle, Kosi, you have a boyfriend. Calm down. I really just hope Kosi will be able to move on after this whole ugly escapade because from his body language and from his facial expression, I could see how uninterested he was in that conversation. Anyways, guys, I just thought to bring to your table all the ugly escapades and scenarios that happened this night. What are your thoughts about this whole thing? Like, do you think Kosi is doing too much? What about Blue Eva? Do you think she's genuinely in love with him and she's just forming all this I don't care attitude, nonchalant attitude, but she really wants him? To me, to be honest with you, from my perspective, I really feel Yemi is wrong. I mean, be platonic about this whole thing. Be straightforward. Who do you want? Who do you want? And I know the answer to that question. Yemi doesn't want anyone in particular. He wants to flirt with the two women. And Kosi wants commitment, but he doesn't want commitment. I feel he should just be, he just have an honest, instead of going to her bed at night and telling her, okay, all, all is well and all that. Tell her, I cannot be straightforward with you the way you want me to be. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let us have a conversation who are you shipping are you shipping yemi and blue eva or yemi and kosi right now i'm shipping none because i am tired i'm just going with the flow basically okay see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching once again bye